Hey, thanks for watching. We have this nice integral on the board where we have the integral of 2x to the 5th minus 2x over x to the 8th plus 6x to the 4th plus 1 dx. Okay, let's get started with this. The first thing I wanted to do, I really wanted to factor out, it feels like a 2x should factor out of the numerator, but I didn't see that that really helps us all that much. Um, the other idea I had was just completing the square in the denominator and it's tricky to make that work. So I found completing the square and this looked like it was gonna be pretty messy. So I'm just gonna avoid that. But let me know if you tried other methods and let me know in the comments if you did this a different way. So what I wanted to do is use a little trick and what we wanna do is I focus on this term here and I wanna get rid of that x to the fourth. So what I can do is I can multiply in the numerator and denominator by one over x to the fourth. And then let's see what how that goes. So in our numerator, we're gonna have uh, 2x. Notice an x to the four cancels out with x to the five and just leaves us 2x minus 2x. I'm gonna write this as minus three. We could write it as one over x cubed two. And then in the denominator, we're gonna have, multiplying this in here, we're gonna have x to the fourth plus six plus one over x to the fourth dx. And like I mentioned, see now this is just a number here and we've taken the x out of it. And now we want to do factoring in the denominator. We have this x to the fourth and one over x to the fourth we can play with. And what I want to do is, let's just notice if we write it like, if we look at just x squared plus one over x squared and we square this thing, we end up with x to the fourth plus one over x to the fourth plus two. So to have this match what we have in the denominator, we just need to add um, four to this. So let's rewrite this whole thing. Okay, so now I've done this where you notice we have our four plus two here, gets us back to the six, so we haven't changed the denominator. And then from here, what I wanna try is a u substitution. We just wanna make this our u and see what's gonna happen. So if I do that, u being x squared over one over x squared, then du is just two x, minus 2x minus 3dx and that's exactly what we have right here lucky coincidence <laughs> okay so let's make the substitution we're gonna have just du over u squared plus 4 and notice 4 is just 2 squared so then we can just use our formula for integrals of this form which is going to be 1 over a whatever that is that's going to be this 2 so we're going to have 1 over 2 tan inverse our u over this value, our two again, plus c. And then to finish it off, we just need to back substitute. We're gonna have half tan inverse, um, okay, x squared plus one over x squared, all divided by two. Let me just clean that up a little bit. So I think for our final answer, we'll leave it like half tan inverse, x squared over two plus one over two x squared, you get a common denominator. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and call it good. Again, yeah, I thought it was really interesting that we could just clean this up so much by just this first trick here, which sets up the whole um, factoring. So that's it, stopping it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.